I've been with this company since January 5th of 1982 when we started in a little 2,000 square foot building in Canton on Harrisburg Road. Um, then we moved in July down here and started this mecca that we have here. DSD, the way I look at it, built shears. We started off with route trucks. That's how uh, Bob and Tom's here were both on route trucks. Jack and Rose were at the dock when we came in at the end of the day. So this big company that we are today was built by DSD. The kind of cookers we had were a little 100 pound batch cookers, maybe 110. We put a couple buckets of potatoes in them and we hand fried with rakes. We hand uh, sliced, the slicer went over top of the oil and we used a mallet, we pushed the potatoes in a couple buckets at a time, about 50 pounds um, is what you put in raw. And they were just little fryers, you raked them out and you dumped them out onto a table. And uh, the guy took a salt shake and we hand salted them, pushed them into a little hole in a corner into a barrel and ran them across the packaging area, which was about 12 feet. And one person picked them up and dumped them down into the packaging machine. We would actually put our potatoes in horse troughs. So our capacity was we, one small crate would fit in a horse trough. So we were lucky if we did six horse troughs a night. Crates held about 1,000 pounds of potatoes. Uh, so we're lucky we did 6,000 pounds, which equates into maybe 1,500 pounds. With shears especially, it seems like people love our products and we keep growing. And I think a, a number I've heard is 30% growth year after year for the past five years. Uh, I think last year, this past year, was probably bigger than that because of the acquisitions and the building expansions. But uh, the people I, at Shears is what makes it such a great company. They take pride in their work. Uh, uh, they come to work and almost, it's almost like a hobby. It's not a job. You, you go, you enjoy what you do uh, day in and day out. The growth in 30 years is astronomical. Every time I see us grow, I say, you know, we can't grow any bigger. We can't. We have just have no more room. We can't do anything else. And then before you know it, we get that all running. We're expanding again. It is. I've, well, I've seen every expansion we've had here, and it is just astronomical. It is a growing company, um, and the stability of seeing us expand the way that we have expanded here in the last 10 years, um, that's very important. And it, it's very satisfying to see that you're contributing in some of that growth. Cheers has been growing ever since I've been here, and it's amazing to see how a company can go from 300 employees to what it is today. And it's been a great experience to work with um, just a growing company that you know is going to grow year after year and get bigger and bigger. We have four plants and four distribution warehouses now um, spread through Ohio, Texas, Virginia, and Oregon. The responsibility that goes along with that though from a lead standpoint, leadership in environmental and, and energy design is we have to be good stewards of the product. We have to be good stewards of, of, of even you know, the lights that we use, uh, whatever electricity, whatever gas that we use. But the plant itself, it's almost like it's a living, breathing organism. We have a really good training program. We like to promote from within. We like to see folks move up the ladder here at Shear, so um, we do a lot of training. We like to think of ourselves, we have the best group of DSD route salesmen in the business, bar none. We take pride in training these guys how to handle product, how to sell product, how to build relationships, um, how to handle their truck. Everything from, from uh, the beginning of the day to the end of the day, they have, they've been taught um, how to do all those things and they, they do it very well. We impress upon our guys, they're the face of Shears Foods. The name's on the side of the truck. A lot of product we make here doesn't have the Shears brand on it, but everything we put out pretty much does. We drive a big billboard on wheels for lack of a better term, um, that has Shears uh, foods plastered right across the side. So we take a lot of pride in that. Well, they have the Wellness, the Caring and Sharing Committee. Um, I know for our department, we're very flexible, and this is a family-run business. It really has that culture-type atmosphere that's family. We're all in it together. I mean, we say that all the time. We're in our department, as well as the whole company. Um, they care about their employees. Uh, they invest in their employees. Uh, in training, uh, they also take, we have a carrying and sharing group, which is uh, a group within Shears that we raise money to help uh, only Shears families uh, that might be having financial trouble. So they, they do take an extreme interest in their employees. We'll pay that gas bill, or we'll pay that electric bill, and it helps them out. And they all know that we're here, 
and the response we get to our committees to the our fundraisers is just it's amazing. I'm a member of the Caring and Sharing Committee here. It's a group of folks that we have um, that are Shears Associates and we get together and we are here to help if we have any Shears Associates that are in need whether it be winter time and they're running low on money they can't afford to pay their gas bill or electric bill um, grocery bills um, this money stays right inside Shears and uh, we help Shears Associates. At Christmas time, we help anywhere from 25 to 30 families, give them a Christmas that they might not have. It's all about the children, making sure the children have a nice Christmas. And it's a really good, it's a really good committee to be on. I'm very proud to be part of that caring and sharing committee. Sheer perfection in every bag means, means to the plants that everybody in the plant does their job as perfectly as they possibly can. And if everybody does that, then the end product that comes out, the actual chips in the bag, are the best they can possibly be. Good quality products start accords with, uh, once again, cleanest equipment. As the cleanest equipment, we, we check every single little fast bag to make sure there's no contamination. We clean everything with bleach and uh, we check for gluten, allergens, anything to do not mix any kind of product with different products. But it's trying to say it is like we got to be careful what we're doing. And we take pride. Uh, there's definitely some innovations we've done as far as uh, uh, some reporting services, uh, things, uh, different systems that we utilize um, that will allow us to better educate uh, ourselves as well as the customer to how we're performing to meeting their needs. I think what makes yours different from other companies that I've been with is just the focus that they have on quality and the fact that we won't let anything go out of our plants that isn't the best that we can possibly make. They're going to, it's our, our labs, our packers, our processors that are all involved in this process. They're, they're constantly tasting, uh, monitoring the seasoning, the specs, how thick the potato uh, chips are, the batch sizes. Um, when I first started, I didn't realize what was involved in making, making chips. I mean, there's a certain thickness the potatoes have, the oils have to be at a certain temperature, drop temperatures, seasonings are in certain specs, our salts are in certain specs, and each company is different. So we have uh, quite a number of checks and balances that we have to go through for each, uh, each customer. Boy, we are, we are pretty particular about uh, the, you know, the quality and who we buy from. Um, I would put our standards up against anybody. I can go to any grocery store and pick up a bag of Shears product and know that when I put it into the bowl to serve that I'm going to be very proud of it because I know the pride and the integrity that goes into making the product from the fryer to the picker to the packer. I know how much pride the people take in the product that we produce and they strive for sheer perfection. Big words. Those words say a lot about what we do every day uh, in our jobs and how everybody has an impact on making a product that the consumer loves. Um, it means taking pride in what you do and working 110 percent, you know, to make sure every bag we deliver to, to our customers uh, is going to guarantee um, more sales. Each shift we do what we call um, pit test, where we take and we uh, pull product from each line that we're producing off of and we get together with our supervisors, our processors, uh, quality, and we inspect and taste each bag of chips um, that we are producing to make sure that it's of sheer quality. And that's something we do throughout, you know, throughout the day, we're always tasting the product. What do we promote shears? The quality's there, first of all. We're gonna give them great service. Um, that's probably as big as the, as the quality thing. Um, our guys are trained as a sales team that we take care of the customer. Whatever it takes, we take care of that customer first. I think sheer perfection is a culture that everyone strives for here. And, uh, um, you know, it's not uh, something taken lightly and it's something we certainly uh, buy order by customer. However, uh, every day that's what you look to achieve and, and try and understand what could you do better uh, to ensure that happens. I'm so happy to be at Cheers. Um, I, I don't want to be in any under industry right now or ever. You know, I hope to, I'm a young person, I'm 39 years old and I, I would love to say I would finish my career with years and retire.